first of all, we will define frames, the term frame in this module, and then we will relate it with conversation. So in speech events, this topic is related with our previous modules. We were talking about access to situations and speech events and structure of speech events and then variation according to communities and cultures. And now, this module is also related with them. In speech communities, the main activity that takes place is conversation. And conversations are framed, they have a frame. They too have a structure. Frame means they are structured. So let's define it. How do participants interpret speech events? Interpret means how they give them meaning, how they derive meaning from a speech event. They do so with the help of pre-existing patterns of events in mind. Now here, this is not only structure, rather this structure becomes part of our interpretive system. It exists in our mind. Whenever we enter a situation, how we understand that situation, this structure in mind, it influences our understanding. It shapes our understanding of that situation. We know that what is the sequence of doctor patient talk? There is a predefined sequence of this event in our mind that we will visit the cleaning, we will get appointment, we will wait in the waiting room, we would be called and then the doctor would check us in inspection and after that uh, he, she would uh, prescribe medicine and etc. and test. So this is a sequence and we know it before we come to the clinic. Now whatever happens in the clinic, we, we understand all those activities in light of this structure that we are calling frame. Similarly, teacher-student talk in classroom, we also have preset structure in our mind. These, these pre-structure, these uh, pre-structured things which we have in mind, actually they are information patterns or we can call them alternatively, they are knowledge patterns. They provide us knowledge. Whenever we enter a situation, we don't need to understand it anew afresh. We know a lot about it in our mind. And that information or knowledge makes our understanding shorter and sharper and smarter, if, if you can call that. So, these knowledge patterns are called frames, scripts, or schemas. Gender ideology is also part of these frames because we understand speech events in light of these frames. If gender ideology is also part of this frame, definitely our interpretation of activities which uh, we are entering, they would be influenced by gender as well. For example, we attend birthday party with preset assumptions of our frames. We know what happens in a birthday party. We will be welcomed. We will uh, exchange smiles. We will sit. We will exchange gifts and there will be cake cutting and uh, uh, and uh, uh, we will have laughing, talking, etc. So this is the frame. It is this frame of birthday party that makes it different from a lecture. Number one, it shows that this frame is differentiating two speech events. Now, Let's link it with gender. If a female secretary reports to a male official, she expects 
that this official meeting would take place in this sequence. Its frame would be like this. I would report something and my boss, our employer, our official will discuss, will approve, or will ask for revision, will, uh, will give some note, etc. But if the official imposes an other frame on this meeting, he takes it a male-female meeting, its frame would be different. And now the girl would understand it in that frame and she can take it as harassment or harassment. So this is the way frame affects our understanding of social situations, social events and speech events particularly. So we conclude that speech events are framed. Gender ideology can influence these frames and in turn these frames can influence our thought, our thinking about men and women.